my god, what has happened to society that we are getting this heated over a kid's movie? What the heck? I don't know if you've been under a rock lately or you haven't been paying attention, but there has been a very, very heated discussion between critics and fans over the Super Mario Bros. movie, like to the point where I've actually been reading some of the reviews by critics and they've been getting like very, very dramatic about it. And I just want to know why? Why are people so mad about this movie? In one corner, you've got critics saying it's like a crime against cinema, everything that's wrong with movies ever. And in the other corner, you've got fans like, this is the best movie ever, critics are out of touch and don't know anything. And I'm just like, how did the Super Mario Bros. movie make this happen? Like, what is going on? <laughs> Even freaking Elon Musk has weighed in on this debate on Twitter. Like, that's how big of a deal this has gotten. And having just seen the movie, I think it's fun. I think if you've played the games, if you've got kids, you're probably gonna have a fun time in theaters. Do I think that the story is very thin? Yes, but I don't think it needed to have this big meaty plot. Overall, I just think the movie's fun and fine. But the fact that this film is eliciting such strong reactions on both sides of the spectrum is crazy to me. So I'm gonna go over with you guys in this video some of what the critics are saying, like the batshit crazy stuff, and then some of what the fans are saying and we're gonna figure out who's right who's wrong is the super mario movie that bad or is it amazing we're just gonna figure it out in this video based on what people are saying because people have some very very strong opinions about this film but before we get into these reviews if you can give this video a like it really 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 helps the channel so please make sure you like the video also please make sure you subscribe so you never miss a video i post multiple times a week now let's get on to these reactions because what the heck guys So we're starting off with a review from IndieWire where this guy just like perfectly encapsulates everything that people think critics are, which is pretentious and out of touch because this article is shocking. Like really, really, really like bad. Just listen to this. He starts off by saying, I know the saga of a wayward Brooklyn plumber and his faithful brother doesn't aim for high art, but it's nevertheless disconcerting to witness such a sleek corporate product, not even try to muster some semblance of depth. Okay, take away the smarminess of that sentence and let's really dive into what he's saying here. First of all, he's saying that the the general premise of basically all Mario games don't aim for high art. That it's all just silly anyway, so we know we shouldn't take it seriously because they're just from like silly video games. That's pretty much what he's saying here. First of all, this is why fans hate you because you're already knocking the games. But secondly, like, can you just try not to sound like a pretentious twat for two seconds? And then he says, instead, it defers to the brainless logic of the games. The brainless logic. The running, jumping, hit the golden question block kind. Yeah, again, he just keeps talking about the game itself, not even the movie. It's like he's putting down the game saying, all of those Mario games are just full of brainless logic. Yes, because the Mario Brothers video games have been popular for decades because of their brainless logic. It's this like confidently wrong takes that really get me, you know? Like, of course you're not gonna like the, the movie if that's how you think of the games. I sat through a screening earlier this week aghast at the dissolution of narrative standards at hand. The dissolution of narrative standards. My god, how dramatic can you be? Like this movie's so bad it's just ending narrative as we know it. <laughs> What are you talking about? At 90 minutes, it's not a tough sit, but it's also not exactly a movie so much as a feature length Twitch stream of in game cutscenes. Yeah, again, this just reeks of like, not only are they coming for gamers, but they're coming for people who use Twitch. And it's like using the word cutscenes in a disparaging way. Like, this just feels like it's coming from someone who just not only doesn't like video games, but like actively hates video game culture. Like, that's how this sounds like to me. Say what you want about the 93 disaster, at least it swung for the fences. 
<laughs> so this guy is defending the 1993 Mario movie, even though that 93 movie was so bad that Nintendo didn't even want Hollywood to make a movie about their characters for decades. This is the first Nintendo movie they've made since that last one in the 90s because it was so poorly received. But according to this critic, who thinks that his opinion is so important, he thinks that movie's actually better because at least it swung for the fences. I mean, this is why fans think critics are out of touch. I mean, seriously. The Super Mario Bros. movie, on the other hand, panders to expectations with such an abject laziness that it left me disowning my own nostalgia for the early games and wondering if all of us young button smashers laid the groundwork for the death of cinema by feeding this demand for this empty product over the years. Holy crap. What? I have to reread that. So firstly, it says he had to disown his own nostalgia. Dude, <laughs> seriously, what? Just because you didn't like the movie doesn't mean you now have to go and hate the games that you used to play. <laughs> like, it's not that bad, Jesus. And then he goes on to say that, I wonder if all of his young button mashers are laying the groundwork for the death of cinema. <laughs> so if you've ever played a Mario video game, you're, you're laying the groundwork work the death of cinema according to this reviewer how dare you you must do better for cinema <laughs> wow okay <laughs> No wonder fans hate the critics on this one. The most dispiriting aspect of my screening experience stemmed from the ebullient eight-year-old sitting behind me who blurted out every game-related easter egg and chortled at the mindless gameplay as movie routine pretty much the whole way through. Oh man, those dang kids. They were enjoying the movie. Now I know cinema's over. <laughs> How dare those kids enjoy themselves. Oh my god. This dude must be like the most miserable guy on the planet. <laughs> How dare this eight-year-old enjoy this movie? Like, what? Also, this mindless gameplay as a movie routine, which is like also really out of touch because I think one of the reasons fans like this movie is because it is so much like the game, which it's like all the things this guy thinks make the movie bad are, are the reasons I think fans actually like it. It hit all their buttons without the slightest effort to challenge or enlighten them in the process. Dude, they're eight. And I'm not saying kids' movies don't deserve good movies. They do deserve good movies and they get them. We just had Puss in Boots. And I think Mario it was not that bad. But again, it's just like it hit all their buttons without the slightest bit of effort that just comes across as like such, I'm better than you, I'm smarter than you, anyone who likes this movie is dumb. Like that's how this whole article comes across. It also left me an optimist who searches for the potential of movies to thrive wherever they can, wondering if the next generation would rather watch them burn? Dude! Because they liked the Mario movie? You think the next generation just wants to watch the world burn? <laughs> Who hurt you? Who hurt you, guy? Who hurt you? <laughs> this dude is miserable. Oh my god. It might seem odd in a weekend column that tends to deal with the challenges and opportunities of the independent realm to devote any space at all to a vapid IP. <laughs> Sorry. That's Again, he keeps coming for the video games, not just the movie, but also the game. He just called the video games a vapid IP. Mario, a character and franchise that is loved by millions of people across the world. It's just a vapid IP to this guy. Uh, <laughs> and I like also how he's like, Normally, I only cover the independent realm and I wouldn't bother myself with such vapidness. <laughs> like... This dude really thinks a lot of himself, like a lot of himself. Wow, this whole sentence is like peak pretentiousness. Holy cow. But then in the very next paragraph, he says that the guy that they should have gone to, the guy that really knows how to make family movies right, is the guy that directed freaking Pete's Dragon. I'm not kidding. You remember that Disney movie from a few years ago no one watched? Yeah, apparently the guy that directed it is named David Lowry. And then not only that, not only that, guys, in the very very next paragraph, we find out that Lowry is the guy that's directing Peter Pan and Wendy, the upcoming live action Peter Pan movie that looks like a World War II film. Yeah, that one. We need that guy to go make a Mario movie. <laughs> what? what? This, this, this is like peak out of touchness right here. We need the guy that made Pete's Dragon, and we need the guy that made freaking Peter Pan and Wendy. That's the guy that should have made the Mario movie. <laughs> 
that's what the kids want. <laughs> I'm sorry, although I'm laughing a lot, but it's just like, how out of touch is this guy? The dude then literally says, looking for some way to clear my head after the Super Mario Bros movie, I tracked down Lowry down by phone. Like, what? So the first thing you're thinking after seeing the Super Mario Bros movie is I need to talk to the guy that's directing Peter Pan and Wendy. He'll clear things up for me. <laughs> this dude is unbelievable. I hope his perspective inspires more filmmakers to storm the gates of Nintendo because those eight-year-olds sitting behind me deserve better, whether or not they realize it. <laughs> dude, I like how this dude, who looks like he's probably in his 30s, maybe 40s, I don't know. He's been working at this site since 2007, so he's not a young guy. And he's like, I know what the eight-year-olds need. They can't like this fun movie. It's too full of things that they're gonna like. <laughs> I feel like the crux of this whole review is like it's full of too much stuff from the video games and the video games are silly and stupid like that's what this review basically reads like i mean no wonder fans are upset at critics and of course as a response to all of this hatred from the critics fans have been fighting back i have a few tweets here of some of the things they've been saying this person said the content review system is broken because critics have a problem with chris pratt the experts have deemed the new mario movie a D minus, even though audiences clearly loved it. Both of these groups are obviously biased, but the disparity here reveals a major problem. So some fans think that critics are just biased because they don't like Chris Pratt. That could be true. I know a lot of the media doesn't like him right now, so I could see that being a factor to be honest. But this tweet has 20,000 likes. That's not small. You know, that's, that's showing there's a lot of people that are actually agreeing with this here. This person said, I enjoyed the Mario movie. It's a silly kids film that respects the source material and doesn't overstay its welcome. I legit laughed out loud all throughout the runtime. These professional critics whilin' with these hot takes. Another fan that's just really happy. Thanks to critics are whilin', as he put it. Then this person said, I thought the movie was exactly what it needed to be, but I had to listen to these mid-30s people leave the theater and complain about it. Number one, there are too many references. Bitch, what? And number two, the ending was predictable. Duh! When have we ever been shocked by a Mario game ending? That's the other thing. I've seen a lot of people say that, like, defending the thin story in the movie with the fact that the Mario games have always been really thin on story, which I honestly think is a fair point, to be honest. Yeah, they could have expanded on the story and come up with this whole original thing, but I don't think that's what the core audience wanted. And I think the fact that this movie is already crushing at the box office and the fact that fans seem to like it, prove it. I think what fans wanted was just a movie where they saw their favorite video game characters on screen doing the things that they do in the game and that's all they wanted. And that's what they got. I really think that's as deep as fans wanted this movie to be. And I think that's why they made it the way that they did. So are the critics' reviews, the critics who don't really care about the game, are they relevant to someone who has played the game? Can the Super Mario Brothers movie be considered good if it is so heavily reliant on fan service and nostalgia? That's a genuine question I'm asking you guys in the comments. I want you guys to let me know. To be honest, I think overall the movie is fun. I think it's a good time at the theater, especially if you bring kids along. But again, what do you guys think? Please let me know in the comments. I know this video has been a little all over the place. I just wanted to give you an idea of what the critics are saying, what fans are saying, why people are so mad at each other, and then give you my thoughts at the end about what I thought about the movie and where it stands. But yeah, let's have a discussion about it. This is a really interesting topic to me. Let me know in the comments what you thought of the movie. Do you agree with the critics are saying? Do you agree with the fans are saying? What do you think? Again, please make sure you like the video and subscribe for more, and I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye.